Well, for me, writing for the saxophone over the, over the uh, most recent years, I've sort of not really thought about the saxophone as, as I'm writing a piece. I know that I'm writing a piece for the saxophone quartet, um, and then with the addition of Miguel Zinan and myself, so six saxophones. But as I'm writing music these days, I'm really not thinking so much about this piece for a saxophone group. It's, the, it's a piece of music that happens to be arranged for the saxophone ensemble. In other words, the idea is, okay, I have this thing I'm going to write for this great ensemble, the Prison Quartet, which luckily I got a chance to play with them for 10 years, so playing with the, one of the most premier quartets, you know, in the last 50 years of, of saxophone quartets, it's it's a great privilege to be able to do this, but also the idea of playing classical music and studying in classical music and saxophone and playing the sax quartet as much as I have, but also playing jazz saxophone quartets as well as playing in jazz ensembles and jazz groups. Um, I really feel like as a composer, for me anyway, that I, I don't want to write for saxophone as much as I just want to write music and it just happens to be for this, this great ensemble. So. That's the idea for me, is not really to think too much about, okay, I'm running some saxophonistic things, which is great, and I, I have done that in the past, and maybe I will continue to do that. And I often practice and play on the saxophone things that are, you know, indicative of the instrument. But I would prefer, personally, at, these, at this point, to write music, and then it just happened to be on the saxophone. So I, I don't think so much about the, the lines of saxophone as, or, or music as jazz, classical, or contemporary, or... I just think about at this point in time, at 54 years old, I want to just write music that's that's coming through me, and that's what it is. I don't I don't want to classify it as anything necessarily, and, and I think that in a way, hopefully, that music is changing in that way. That you know, there used to be categories of you know the jazz, especially like in the record stores, which there aren't any anymore. But like you'd have the jazz department, the classical, and then the pop, and the. I think it should just be okay. We have this great, you know amount of music available to us all and, and hopefully now we're continuing to write new pieces and there's so much great music being written for the saxophone quartet and um, with great groups like PRISM to be able to play this music I think it's very cool and it's very, you know, I, I, you know the idea of taking six fairly well-known saxophone saxophone composers and, and performers, Dave Lehman and Craig Osby and Rudrash and Steve and Miguel and myself, we have the ability to to kind of go into all different genres and categories of music and play with these different ensembles. And we've all played in so many different different sort of, you know, uh, genres of music. So now having this, this ability to play with this, but, you know, Prism's ability to bring jazz into their mostly classical influence and then kind of mix the two. And so that I really, you know, for me, especially like in my piece, I, there's a section where we're improvising and I kind of want the whole group to sort of play these little snippets of ideas so that we're all improvised. So it's not just like, okay, you guys are playing the quartet and Miguel and I are playing the solos. I'm hoping to have a little bit more where it's seemingly like seamless, where it's not, where the written music becomes part of the jazz and then becomes part of the written again and back through the next section.